Hi, my name is Tony Eldridge. I'm the author of The Samson Effect, the action-adventure book that Clive Kessler calls a first-rate thriller brimming with intrigue and adventure. Okay, in this video tip, we're going to be talking about how to make money on your blogger account by selling your books or really anyone else's books uh, directly from your account. I've heard it said by some people that you can't make money selling books. That's the downside of blogs. You can't set up an account to, to make money. And that's true in a sense that you can't set up a shopping cart and it's not intended for that kind of e-commerce. But there are things you can do to actually add books to your blogger uh, blog and when people click on it you can make some money. I'm going to talk about one of those ways in this account. Now if I scroll down my blog you'll see where I've set up a carousel widget and a widget's just a little program that uh, gives you some functionality in this case amazon.com creates a carousel widget that lets me pick anywhere from six to ten books and put it on my blogger account now this is pretty cool readers of my blog can scroll through backwards and forwards and if they see a book they like they can click on it and it will take them to the amazon.com page so let's talk about how to get that set up. Uh, what you'll want to do is go to Amazon.com and once you're there scroll down until you get on the left hand side uh, the part that says features and services selling with Amazon you will want to scroll down till you find the associates program and click on it. Now the first thing it's going to do or one of the things it's going to do is prompt you to open up an account an associate's account. And I would go ahead and do that uh, because anytime then that you take the link that the associate account provides you for every product that they sell and you put it on your blog or you put it on your web page, you actually make money if someone clicks on that and buys it from Amazon.com. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and sign into my account as we show this, uh, as I show you this because it has a lot of personal information on here but in the middle is where you want to see the widgets where that carousel was. If we click on this we're going to get a list of all the different widgets or all the different types of little programs we can put on our blog or our website to allow us to sell books. Now You can take the time to read these widgets on your own to find out if one of them might be one that you like a little better. We're going to look at the carousel widget and walk through the process of setting that up. So we click on add this widget and you'll notice that because we're not signed in to our associates account it's giving us a warning basically saying if you don't sign in you're not going to make any money if this clicks and so right now we're okay with that. Now here's where we create or build our widget. We want to search Amazon.com and we want to put in the name of the books that we want to sell. So we want to go Samson Effect or whatever the name of your book is. and if you spell correctly it makes it a little easier so there's the Samson effect the paperback version I want to go ahead and add that product and there's the first of the minimum of six products that I have let's go ahead since I don't have six books let's go ahead and look at Clive Cussler we're going to put in Cussler's last name and we'll just pick six of his book we'll pick this new one that's coming out Corsair We'll scroll down and pick Medusa, that's two, Arctic Drift, that's three. So we have a total of four counting my book. We'll do the chase. And by the way, you want to make sure that you are getting the version that you want, whether it's hardback, paperback, uh, audiobook. Um, and we'll get the plague ship because you can put individual versions on there. Now, once we get this set up the way that we want, we have the ability to push these down, reorder those in any way that we want, or actually remove the product. So once we get them the way that we want, we click the next step. We get the warning once again saying that, hey, if we don't sign into the Amazon Associate accounts, we can put this up, but we're not going to make money. And again, that's fine. We can have the orientation. Do we want a Ferris wheel like on my site, or do we want this to go left and right? Well, let's go ahead and do the Ferris wheel. Let's show the title and let's put a border around it. We're also going to change this from my picks to Tony and Clive's 
books. And this title will actually show up in Amazon.com. And there it goes, Tony and Clive's books. Once we get this set the way that we want, we want to add to our web page. And then Amazon.com will come up and it will give us terms and conditions. It will give us a warning basically saying this is our last chance. We're not going to make any money off of it unless we join the program. Um, and then the terms and use. After we read those, we agree to it. And there are some services, whether it's our blogger account, uh, MySpace, uh, WordPress, any of these services, uh, if, we, if we choose it from here, it makes it so much easier. If we want to put this carousel somewhere else, we just copy the code and then go in and take that to whatever web page we want. We're going to add to our blogger service. It's going to give us a, uh, tell us that it's sending some uh, unencrypted information over the internet. It then takes us over to Blogger, and Blogger says, look, there's someone, uh, Amazon.com Amazon .com is trying to post something to your web. Do you want this there? And which blog do you want it on? Um, let's name this Carousel 2, since I already have one on there, and that way we'll know which one's which. If we get this the way that we want. Let's go ahead and add the widget. That, my friends, is really all that we do, and now we've got our widget. You see it in the layout, Carousel 2. I'm going to drag this down and put it by carousel one. We'll actually put it under there. Now we'll save it and we'll view the blog and take a look at it. So as the blog comes up, we want to go ahead and scroll down and we'll find both of the carousels. There's the marketing tips that I had, the marketing tips reading lounge with 10 of the marketing books I had chosen. And then sure enough, we have Tony and Clive's books. Again, had we had signed into the associates program, anyone that were to click any of these books and then make the purchase on Amazon.com, we would have got credit and the commission would have been posted to our account. But that's it in this uh, this idea of how to make money on your blog selling books. It can be done and in this example we've done it through the Amazon.com Associates account by creating a carousel widget and putting it on our blog. I hope this expands your uh, knowledge and ability to not only market your book but find another way of making money when readers of your blog do purchase it. Uh, my name is Tony Eldridge. Again, I'm the author of The Samson Effect, and I look forward to seeing you at the next tip.